Today I'm going to show you how to design a mandala. The word mandala means circle or completion and it refers to patterns that can be created and contemplated on. These patterns represent the universe and they're often used in meditation. So to start you'll need two pieces of paper, a compass if you have one, but if not, some different sized round objects. I'm going to use a plate, a saucepan lid, an old CD and I have some plastic lids as well. You'll also need scissors, a ruler, a pencil, a few colour pencils and some markers. So first of all, I'm going to draw two large circles, one on each piece of paper. And now I'm going to make a template with one circle. So I'm going to fold the circle in half, give it a good crease down the centre. Then in half again, so it's in quarters and fold one more time into the centre. Now I'm going to mark the centre of the circle with a pencil and I'm going to draw along all of the crease lines with a ruler. When you've done this, use a sharp pencil to make a hole in the centre of the circle. Now I'm going to lay the template on top of the first circle that I drew and I'm going to make marks on the page underneath at the edge of all the lines. I'm also going to mark in the hole in the centre. Then join up all the marks with a ruler, going through the centre point each time. Next I'm going to add in the circles. Um, I'm going to start with a CD. I've also got some plastic clear lids, which are good. Uh, they're easy to line up in the centre because you can see the pencil lines underneath them. For the centre I've got a small disc that came from an old Christmas decoration, but a coin would be just as good for this. So I'm ready to start adding in the design now. Mandala patterns often include flower shapes, so I've gathered some pictures together to help me with my design. And I'm going to copy in some of the petal and leaf shapes. I'm going to start in the centre and draw in some petals, which is basically like making a big loop shape. In the next circle I'm going to make a leaf shape which is basically like an upside down V but you can really add any kind of pattern or design that you like.
The lotus flower often features in mandalas, so I'm going to add in a similar kind of petal shape in the next circle. So I'm going to continue with my flower and leaf shapes and in the next circle I'm going to add a leaf with a pointed tip. So carry on adding all your patterns and shapes until all the circles are complete. Now it's time to add some colour. You can also use markers to make the shapes stand out a bit more. Thank you. 
Here's a handy tip while you're working. To stop your hand from smudging the drawing, use a clean piece of paper and rest your hand on it as you're moving across the drawing. Lastly, if you want to add some extra decoration, you could add some paint dots. I'm using acrylic paint and the wrong end of the paintbrush, but you could also use a cotton bud or the tip of a pencil and just dip it directly into the tube of the paint. Enjoy making your mandalas. See you next time.